guys? Oh, Kelsey, that's not your room. Where are you? You are right. This is not my room. I am in a hotel in Grand Rapids, Michigan right now, which is a really small town in Michigan. I didn't think it existed, but surprisingly, there's a Snapchat filter for it. So, okay. So, um, I am here on a college visit. Well, kind of on a college visit. I'll be in Ann Arbor tomorrow visiting University of Michigan. And my mom had a business trip in Grand Rapids today, so she asked me to come along. And I had nothing to do today, so I explored Grand Rapids and had a little mini adventure. Um, and I did a lot of shopping. Because there's not a lot to do here but shop. And they actually have some nice stores here. I did not expect it. They have a lot of stores here that they don't have where I'm from in Cincinnati. Uh, so, yeah. I was excited. So I just wanted to film a haul, show you guys what I got. And, yeah. I haven't put up a video in a while either. And I want to start doing that. So, you know, it's been a lazy summer. And so the first place I went to is this place called Schuler Schuler Books. Um, it's a local and it, it's a local independent bookstore in Grand Rapids and Lansing, Michigan, and like nowhere else. Uh, I really, really enjoyed this bookstore so much because it was like so beautiful. It was so beautiful. It was one of those bookstores you see in movies. It was that great. It was so wonderful. It was it was not like a Barnes and Noble where it was just like a chain and it was all fake. Like it was I can't even describe how beautiful this bookstore was. Like I don't I'm weird, I guess. I don't know. But I wanted to buy something from there because I like to support small businesses, even though it's a really big bookstore, so I don't really think it's a small business, but I like to support um businesses that aren't like huge chains. And I also really wanted to get a bag from there to prove to my mother that it was real. So yeah. And I also got a coffee from there, but obviously I don't have the cup with me anymore. So yeah. So the first thing I got there, don't judge me, was this Edgar Allan Poe air freshener for my car. Um, it is in the sense, it's a potpourri, like potpourri, but Poe. It you can kind of smell it through the wrapping it smells pretty nice um i needed an air freshener in my car anyways because the one i had ran out and what better than one of my favorite authors i'm such a nerd like really i still sometimes i look at that and i still can't believe i bought it then the next thing i got um i didn't get a lot from here just because um i have a lot of gift cards to barnes and nobles so i'm really trying not to buy too many books Oh, you know, you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm weird. Okay, so the second thing I got was 13 Little Blue Envelopes from by Maureen Johnson. And I actually heard of this author. I literally went and read. I found the Maureen Johnson section, like the little part where her books were in the young adult section. And I just read every single one, like every single back of it until I found the one I wanted. Uh, Maureen Johnson is a writer who is not that well known. Um, I didn't hear about her until today when I was listening to the Dear Hank and John podcast uh, with John and Hank Green. Don't judge me on that. Um, if you don't know, John Green is the author of Fault in Our Stars and Paper Towns and um, other things. He writes books and his brother Hank does everything and they have a YouTube channel together. And now they have a podcast. And their podcast is actually really funny. I love listening to it. Um, and I was listening to it, and John is out of town for the Paper Towns, whatever the hell, uh, tour, movie tour. And so they brought in Marie, Maureen um, as a guest, John. And she was so funny. She was really funny. She was really fun to listen to. You know, her personality just really kind of connected with my soul. Like, I'm a writer, but obviously I'm not a famous writer because I haven't even published anything. But, you know, like, just, I don't know why, but I feel like she really connected with me. And I was like, I really like this girl. So I went and followed her on Twitter and then I bought one of her books. And this book is really interesting because it's about a girl whose aunt dies and leaves her 13 blue envelopes. And you're only supposed to open one at a time. And each one gives you, like, different directions. So the first one has $1,000 in instructions to buy a plane ticket. And the next one is, like, directions to a London flat. And then the third one is to find a starving artist. And I just see, I feel like that'd be a really interesting kind of story. Like, a little interesting scavenger hunt um, across Europe. 
it just sounded like a book that I would enjoy. So I got that. I know this is a makeup channel, but I'm talking about books now. Okay. So next thing I went to JCPenney and this is actually, I'm going to go through this really quickly because this is not my stuff. This is for my baby sister. She's five. Her name is Maggie. You guys have probably seen her on here maybe once or twice, but she just needs some new clothes because her little tummy is showing. So I got her some cute stuff. Um, you know, like this cute little shirt. It's like purple and then patterned on the back and some other cute clothes. So I just thought I'd share that. And then I went to, um, this was in like the mall in Grand Rapids, like the Woodland Mall. And I didn't expect it to have, it's had the ba basic stores that we have at Cincinnati, but it had a Lush. And we don't have Lush in Cincinnati. Um, the only time I've ever had a Lush product is when I purchased a bath bomb at a Lush store when I went to Boston. And I was so overwhelmed by Lush. You know, I had never heard of the brand before. Um, I was so overwhelmed that I just got a bath bomb. I didn't know what else to do. But this time I got a few more things um, and just to try out. I feel really bad. I feel overwhelmed when I go to Lush because I'm like, I need everything. Because we don't have this in Ohio. But you can't get everything. You know what I mean? So the first thing I got is a bath bomb. Oh, the scent is getting into me. This is the big blue bath bomb. And it's like... Obviously, it's blue with white on top. It's got, like, seaweed in it, and it's supposed to just make your bath water blue, and the seaweed's supposed to help nourish your skin. So, I've heard a lot of good things about this bath bomb over the internet, so I wanted to try it. And the next thing I got was another bath bomb. This is the Twilight Bath Bomb. I actually have already experienced the Twilight Bath Bomb. It is a wonderful bath bomb. It smells so good. It's so relaxing. I love bathing with this. It makes the water, like, purpley and blue, because there's, like, blue inside of that. It's so great. Um, I want to see how it actually fizzes, though, because the last time I bought that bath bomb, it broke. And so when I put it in the bath, like, it was already kind of broken open, so it didn't really need to fizz that much. But I'm hoping that this one will fizz a little more. And also, because I love sharks so much. Sharks are one of my favorite animals. Um, and they are thinning sharks, skinning sharks for their fins, and then throwing them back into the water just to make soup. Um, which isn't right. It's cruel and it's just not right. I am, I do believe in, you know, I mean, I'm not like a scary vegan kind of person. Like I eat meat, but I feel like there's an extent of where you're using all the meat, everything you can from it to survive. And then there's the extent of, you know, you're just being cruel and what they're doing to sharks is cruel. So they, I signed a little petition there, like a weirdo, and then I bought this little charity pot, hand and body lotion, that um, all the proceeds to it go to the sharks, and it's just a body lotion that looks like this, and it smells really good. I don't even know what it smells like. It's like salty. It smells like the ocean. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's in it, but it smells... Okay, so my camera memory cut out, so I deleted some stuff, and hopefully I have enough time to continue. But the charity pot, you know, um, smells really good. I'm excited to use it as a hand lotion because it's natural. And also, the cool thing about Lush is that the pots have a recycling program, so if you bring in like five of your empty pots, they will recycle the pots and they will give you a free face mask. But I don't have a Lush near me, so I can't participate in that. And this was made by Shannon on June 12th. Thank you, Shannon. I have to use it by August 12th, or else it will be icky. And then I got a sample of the Rehab Shampoo. And this is just, I can't even show it to you because it's like, oh, oh, that's a bubble. It's like, it's a shampoo. I mean, you can't really see it. But it smells like peppermint and tea tree and other oils and stuff it just smells really good and it's supposed to be really good for your hair it's supposed to um just be really good to wash your hair i just like got some on my fingers and i literally just put it in my hair uh it's supposed to be really clarifying um really good for your hair and i have a lot of hair so anything that's good for it is nice to have um so i'm excited to try this out just do a shampoo so tossing it all back in then I went to Icing, which is like a grown-up Claire's, I guess. Um, 
and I didn't get a lot here, but they had a Clueless collection and they had these scrunchies that are like Clueless themed, like the 90s movie Clueless. And of course I was like, hell yes, I need these in my life. Actually, I'm about to use one of them because that's how much I love them. Excuse me while I awkwardly bite this open with my teeth. I'm literally about to put one of these in my hair because I love scrunchies so much and I love clueless so much it's great like oh has f whoops my bad like uh, I love scrunchies and I love clueless so this was a must for me and yeah. scrunchies so so 90s. All right. Um, I also got some cute earrings because they were having a sale. Oh, I also got these barrettes because they were like buy one, get one half off and they were just black and white. Um, I also got these earrings because they were having a sale. So I wanted to get more, but I have to wait to get, I want to get my ears double pierced. But of course my mommy has to say I have to do that since I'm only 17. So yeah, I have to wait for her to say yes. But these are really cute. They're like front and back earrings. So on the front they have like this little gold thing and then on the back they have like this blue ball, which I thought was cute. And then I have these little cute bows. And then the last ones I got were these white roses. So, yeah. so that's all I got from icing. Um, and then the last place I went to was Bath and Body. Well, no, there's one more. Um, and then I went to Bath and Body Works. And I basically just stopped the sales because why not? I have Bath and Body Works in my hometown. So there wasn't really anything I wanted to get. Um, they had a 75% off bin. So I got the full-size pear berry fragrance which is like a strawberry berry pear scent it's really nice summer scent and I've actually never smelled forever red but I have heard so many youtubers rave and rave and rave about the scent of forever red so I was like I should give it a try and look how pretty this little ribbon is you know and it was like 75% off and it has glitter so and it's a body lotion by the way so always good to have um and then the last thing I got was a candle this is one of their new candles uh this is the Amsterdam tulips and windmills candle and it has a really pretty design on the front and it smells it's a really nice light like it literally smells like tulips it's a nice light smell and it's just a really nice change because all my smells are like really thick so I wanted something light and nice and then the last place I went to was Five Below, where everything is $5 or less. And we don't have Five Below in Ohio. So I was very excited to walk in there and be like, holy crap. They sell, like, BTW, they sell City Color Cosmetics at Five Below. So I saw a lot of their BMAP blushes there. I should have gotten some, but I didn't. Uh, so if you're ever, if you live near Five Below and you want City Color Cosmetics, but you don't want to order it online, look at that freaking street. Why is that streak so... Oh my gosh. My hair is... My hair hates me. Um, and the only thing I did get were these headphones. I got $5 headphones for some reason. Um, I want to be cool. Like being one of those cool kids with their headphones. Because I feel like headphones look really retro and really awesome on people. But I don't want to spend a lot of money for headphones. Because I don't really have a lot of places to use them. So I just got some for $5. And they actually, I was just listening to them. They actually work pretty well, so. Go me! All right, so that is all that I got today on my little trip. Uh, I want to have more videos up soon, so just keep on the lookout for those. Also, if you, this is a little bit of self-advertising, but <laughs> what else do you expect? If you guys uh, like books as much as I do, if any of you guys are bookworms, I have a blog uh, where I review books. I post book reviews. Um, I only have one book review up right now, but it's called Kelsey's Library, and I will link it below if you want to check it out. Ow, just cracked my freaking knuckle. Um, I will link it below if you want to check it out, and yeah, that's it. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you, I got my nails done, and they're pretty. They're like red, and each of them, all the red ones have a little design on them, and then there's the purple middle finger, or ring finger. I think it's cute. Um, they were originally red and green because I asked the lady for pink and green, but then she did red and green. I guess she couldn't hear me or whatever, and I freaked out, went to a different nail salon, and asked them to change these two to purple, and they did. So it looks a lot better. It's a shellac, so it's supposed to last for a really long time, yada yada. 
yeah, I got bored with shopping, so I just wanted to get my nails done. But yeah, so I will link my blog below if you want to check it out. Um, I will also link my Instagram and Twitter below if you want to follow me on those platforms, because I'm pretty cool. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you later.